Good afternoon, everyone. So if you came to this video, then you probably came here because the latest update with Microsoft, the KB4054517, has caused your computer to hang on getting Windows ready. And some people are saying, you know, it's a few minutes up to upwards of hours on end. Now that is frustrating, especially if it's stopping your productive um, activity. You know, if you're if you're losing money because this is getting stuck, I definitely understand. So, after a few hours, um, I, I tried several ways on the internet. You know, several forum posts, things like that, and nothing really seemed to work. So, I did a little bit of digging and I went back to how I would fix things with Windows Update back in prior Windows installations, like Windows 7, um, Windows 8 when that was out and whatnot. So here's what I did. So once again, you know, you're going to come across, you know, if you do a Google search or whatever, you know, trying to fix it, uh, you'll, you'll have like all these, you know, net stop, net start, you know, all these other command prompt things. And then whenever you try to stop the Windows service, um, you actually have issues doing it. Uh, it'll tell you to please try again later sometimes. Um, so what you do is you go to services.msc. All right, and then you go all the way to the bottom if it's in alphabetical order. You know, if it's not, you just hit the name thing until it is. And then you find Windows Update right here. You know, you can right-click that. You can stop the service, or you can click up here and stop the service. Now, if you did happen to Google this, and, you know, you have the uh, net stop, W-A-U-S-E-R-V. Um, this is the service that you're stopping. So if it's not working for you in command prompt, it did work here for me. So what you want to do is, quite simply, just go ahead and stop that. Okay, once that's stopped, all right, you then want to go into, uh, let's look at the full path here. You go C Windows Software Distribution. Now you highlight all of this and you just delete it. Just completely delete it. Now that the Windows service is stopped, you can just completely get rid of all downloads, all pro, you know, uh, intended installations, everything that's going on. And that's why it's hanging because Windows Update is basically not installing the software completely. Like mine went up to 100% and then draw back to 99% on this particular update. And then just sat there for hours on end. All right, and then whenever I would restart my computer, I would be stuck, I couldn't do anything, and I literally just stared at my screen for a couple hours. All right, now, once you delete all of this stuff, so what you wanna do is you wanna go ahead and you wanna download your update. Now, this particular update was the one that I needed for my computer. Now, you want to make sure whether you have a 32-bit system or 64-bit system. The easy way to tell that, if you have 4 gigs or more of RAM, well, more than 4 gigs of RAM, you're basically guaranteed to have a 64-bit system. If you don't, then someone just doesn't know what they're doing. Um, but, you know, you obviously you download your whichever one you need. The x86 is a 32-bit system, so anything less than 4 gigabytes um, would be your 32-bit system or x86. Anything more would be x64. That's 64-bit. Okay, you go ahead and you download it and you run the program and everything else and let it install. Um, you may not be able to run the program up until you actually restart the service. So, you know, you go back into your services.msc and back down to Windows Update, maybe, right there, all right, and then you start the service, you know, at that point it'll say start, start service, etc. So you go ahead and you start your service and everything and you run it. Now, you do the complete installation. Uh, this is an offline installation, so you'll download it and then you'll install it offline, basically. Um, this worked for me. Uh, hopefully it works for all of you uh, because of the simple fact that, you know, I mean, a lot of the rents and raves that I had read on the Microsoft site was, you know, people were losing out on a lot of money because 
they were unable to be productive uh, because of this update. And I mean, you know, some people, it was actually taking them hours and hours and hours. You know, so don't be there. Try this, see if it works. If it does work, awesome. If it doesn't work, then, you know, I, you can simply send me a message or a comment. Uh, let me know, you know, if it did work. Uh, if it didn't work, then, you know, maybe I could try to find another way that it could work for your computer. Um, if you guys did enjoy this video, uh, feel free to like and subscribe. Let me know. Uh, if you didn't like this video, also put that in there in the comments. You know, I'm completely fine with criticism. So I hope that you did. Um, for those of you, you know, this is around Christmas time and Hanukkah and all that stuff, you know. Merry Christmas, Happy Hanukkah, all that good stuff um, to your, whichever your religion or your beliefs are. Uh, again, thank you, and thanks for watching the video, and thanks for coming to Technics.